everyone welcome back to my youtube channel where i post videos every week teaching you the latest strategies to help you build an impactful online business make sure to subscribe to the channel if learning how to scale your business is something that excites you now in today's video you will learn 12 canva text effects that you could do to take your designs to the next level by the end of the video you will be able to create amazing graphics for your youtube channel for instagram and for your social media graphics so let's head over to my computer to get started all right so here we are on canva and let's go ahead and get started with the 12 text effects that i'm going to be showing you how to do on canva so the first one that we're going to be doing is the frame effect which is this one here which is adding pictures behind the actual letters this is really easy to do all you need to do i'm going to go ahead and create a new page and i'm going to walk you through the whole process so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to elements and when you go to elements if you go to frames right here and you go all the way in the bottom you're going to find the alphabet frames so you're going to have letters here that you could pick from so i'm going to do the same one as here hola so i'm going to do h o l a I'm gonna go ahead and separate these. So put them on the order. So I'm gonna put the H over here, the O right here, the L and the A. Now to get these little guides, all you need to do is go over to File, Show Rulers, and you'll have the guides. That way you could align it correctly. Another trick that you could do is you could select all, click on position, click on horizontally, and it will space it out for you perfectly. Now, because the letters overlapping, I'm going to go ahead and select all. I'm going to group this together. Now they're all together when I move them. And I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. Um, it's perfect right there. I'm going to put it in the middle. Now I'm going to go to photos. From here, you can play around, find different types of photos. Um, I'm going to do sun, sunrise, but you could pick anything that you want. And all you need to do is drag the photo that you like into the actual letter. So... I'm going to start with the H. I'm going to do the purple one here. And then once you drag it in here, you can actually double click and move the actual picture around if you want to as well. So let's go to the next one. I'm going to do this one here on the O. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to double click and move it a little bit to the right. So let's go to the next one. Let's do this one here for the L. And I'm going to double click and move the sun a little bit to the left. And then I'm going to do the same for the A. So let's go ahead and find, let's do this one for the A just to do something different. And there we go. So this is how simple it is to create the frame effect. So let's move on to the second text effect, which is the curve text effect. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new page. And go ahead and click on T for text. I'm going to put, I'm um, just going to write curve text. So once you're satisfied with your text, you're going to click on effects and you're going to click on curve. From here, you're able to play around with how tight you want it or if you want it a little, a little bit looser. But this is how simple it is to create your curve text. The next text effect is called the drop shadow effect. So we're going to be recreating this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add new page. I'm going to do text and I'm going to say drop shadow. Make this a little bit smaller. Put it in the middle. And once you're happy with the actual text, click on effect and click on shadow. And this is how you create the drop shadow. Now, you could play around with here with the offset if you want it to kind of come off a little bit like this if you wanted that. The direction of it as well, you could move it around. I like it to the right a little bit. You can make it blurry if you want. Um, transparency as well if you wanted to as well. But that defeats the purpose of adding a drop shadow. And then here, you could actually pick the color. So you could just click on the color that you want. It automatically sets it in black because that's the original color of the text. But you could change the color by clicking here. So let's go ahead and do the pink just to make it a little bit different. So this is how simple it is 
to create the drop shadow effect. So let's move on to the next effect, which is the slanted effect. And basically what you're doing is you're going to be grabbing, let's use this one as an example. You're going to be grabbing this text. And if you turn this right here to the side and you pick the angle that you want, that's how you create a slanted effect. It's that simple. Now, text effect number five is no space effect. And I actually like this one a lot. So what I normally do to create this type of effect that the actual text is touching each other is let's go ahead and create a new one. And let me go ahead and do the text. I'm going to say no text, no space effect. Um, you could change, obviously, your fonts here by selecting any font that you like. I'm just going to use this one for now. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come up here um, where it has the little arrow. You're going to click on it. And what we're going to do here is the letter space, we're going to put them together. And from here, I usually what I like to do is slant it a little bit. And it makes that little no space effect. It looks really cool, like the letters are combined together. Now, text effect number six is the space out effect. So it's kind of like the opposite of this. You're spacing it out. So let's go ahead and do a new one. I'm going to do text and I'm going to say space out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to where we just went to. Click right here. And I'm going to go ahead now. And instead of combining them together, I'm going to space them out. And this is really cool if you're looking for um, a text that looks like minimalist. So that's how you create the space out effect. Now let's move on to the neon effect, which is number seven. I actually use this one a lot on social media. So the way that you do this one is um, just go ahead and add a new page. I do like it with darker colors because it does make it stand out. And then what I normally do with this is I'll go ahead and let me do text here. And I'm going to say neon effect. I'm just going to write the same thing. I'm going to push this down a little bit, center it right here. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and click on effects. And I'm going to click on neon. Now you could change the color, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and change this color to the pink that I like. And there goes your neon effect. Now this is a little bit darker than my original pink, but you could change it to any color you like. It does work better when you have darker colors in the background. Now the next text effect is number eight, which is the box text effect. And this is really great for when you're creating thumbnails because it does stand out. And the way to do this is basically... Um, let's go ahead and create a new page and I'm just going to go ahead and pull out my ruler, put one right here and I'm going to pull out one right here. So add your rulers wherever you want your text to be as large as you want it to be. And then I'm going to go ahead and press T and I'm going to say box and then I'm going to do another one T text and push this down and then I'm going to do let me go ahead and duplicate this one by clicking here just to make it a little bit faster effect so now we have all three they're separate so we have one two three and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the B and align it right here next to the ruler as much as I can some text um, is easier with other text might be a little off but as long as you have it as a line as possible. So here we have one. Then I'm gonna do this one here. And I'm gonna stretch it out. And then I'm gonna put this one here and do the same thing. And stretch it out as much as I can that it will still look like it's a line. And there we go. And then you could just push it up and kind of make it together. You could group it together if you wanted to by selecting all. And grouping and now it all is all in one box but this is how simple it is to do the box text effect now the next one we're gonna do is tip number nine which is the highlight effect 
This is something that I have on my actual website. Um, whenever you want to get rid of rulers, just select it and move them out of the way. Boom. And how you do this is very simple. I'm going to go ahead and create a new page. I'm going to duplicate the text, put it down here. And all you need to do is go to elements. Uh, let's get rid of frames here. Let's go to shapes. We're going to select the square right here. We're going to make it a little bit longer to fit the width of the actual text. You can make it thinner if you want to by pulling down. And I'm going to put it right behind. I'm going to make it a tab a little bigger. And I'm going to go ahead and change the color to the little light pink that I like, which was from my branding colors. And this is how you create the highlight effect that you see on a lot of websites. Now, tip number 10 um, for text effect is the glitch effect. You actually see this on, this is kind of very similar to the TikTok um, text. And in order to create this, it's very simple. Um, let's go ahead and do one from scratch. So I'm going to press T for text. I'm going to type in the word glitch effect. I'm going to go to effects up here. And I'm going to click on glitch. Now, here you could play around with it. Obviously, you could do the offset if you want to, the direction of it as well. I like it to the right. And then you could change the colors as well right here. Um, so you could pick the colors here or you can actually come up here as well kind of play around with it and play find the the color that kind of goes with what you're looking for but this is how simple it is to create the glitch effect now the next tip is tip number 11 of text effect which is the hollow outline so how to create a hollow outline so let's go ahead and create one from scratch i'm going to click on t i'm going to type in hollow outline I'm going to go ahead and center this. And from here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on effects again. And I'm going to click on hollow. And there we go. This is another easy text effect. And now we're going to do tip number 12, which is creating a solid outline effect. So how you do this is basically, um, let's go ahead and create one from scratch. So you will do the same thing. You will, you know, T for text. Let's go ahead and create a... Um, solid outline just do this one and then from here you would duplicate you would duplicate this and you will go here you would click on effects hollow so you have that one there and you will put this one right on top you will position it to the back and then you will pick a different color because both of them are black so I'm gonna go ahead and pick a pink and this is how you create your solid outline effect. So you could do all of these wonderful effects on your text that you could use for your website, for your YouTube channel, for social media, for your creatives, or any digital assets that you create for your business. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please share it. And please let me know in the comments below if you would like additional videos like this. And thank you everyone for watching.